Would you pass the Nutella, please? In the two and a half seconds it took me to ask you that, someone bought a jar of the smooth, creamy spread. Each year, Nutella produces enough of this delicious spread to cover the Great Wall of China eight times. Now that's a wall I'd love to climb and then maybe lick. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But your favorite sandwich spread has a little bit of a dark past. Can you guess what that was? Did it have something to do with the Napoleonic Wars? World War II? A crime wave? Or a lawsuit? Stay tuned to learn everything you need to know about this chocolate hazelnut spread. Nutella seems to inspire people's creativity, and it's not limited to recipes. A furniture designer was tired of his friend's children constantly sneaking into his home to steal Nutella, so he invented a lock for Nutella jars. He sells the locks on eBay, and they're pretty successful. But how was this heavenly sweet food created? Well, it involves two wars. Back in 1806, Napoleon blocked British goods from entering the parts of Europe his army occupied. This caused a dramatic drop-off in the cocoa supply, so its cost skyrocketed. Fortunately for us chocolate lovers, Italian chocolatiers in Piedmont got creative and started mixing hazelnuts with chocolate. That created the first Nutella-like paste called Gianduja. Toward the end of World War II, German soldiers cut off trade routes Europeans used to transport food items such as cocoa. Once more, cocoa became scarce in Europe. That's when the hero of our story appeared. Pietro Ferrero from Piedmont, Italy was a pastry baker by trade, and he created a paste made from hazelnuts, sugar, and a little cocoa. It was so thick and sturdy, people sliced it and put it on bread. Mm, so good. In 1946, Ferrero made his paste a creamier product called Super Crema, which was so successful that the Ferrero company started opening plants in other countries. In 1964, the company tweaked the recipe and Nutella was born. It was the first jar of sugar, hazelnut, and cocoa cream sold to customers. And the product was here to stay. Hey, who took my Nutella? I was just about to spread it on my toast. I swear it was right here. All right, well, it wouldn't be the first time that this delicious creamy paste is a victim of a crime. In 2013, robbers took five tons of Nutella from a parked trailer in Germany. In the winter of 2016, police in Toronto, Canada, busted a high-profile crime ring. That's right, a crime ring around Nutella. The stolen goods they recovered included a truckload of Nutella worth more than $12,000. Nutella and its ancestors were born from wars, stolen in several crimes, and, uh, hmm, what am I missing? Oh, that's right, Nutella got sued. No way. In 2011, an American mom took Nutella to court after discovering how unhealthy the spread is. She'd been feeding the product to her four-year-old child for breakfast. Deceptive advertising made her think Nutella was nutritious. Despite the massive amounts of Nutella humans eat, it is not a healthy product. A staggering 57% of Nutella is sugar. Ferrero USA lost the lawsuit and compensated consumers up to $20 if they claimed the packaging misled them. Well, I think we can guess what happened there. Let's be honest, there's no way that we'd stop eating Nutella. What would we spread on our toast? All right, well, it could be its cousin, peanut butter. Hey, that has a great story, too. To hear it, watch that video next on Origins of Food.